Okay, starting off turn 11 with Arjun, we are really down to the wire here. And I would say we can definitely win the game with the extended set of rules, which states that you can use a third a surge token if you have to. But let's hope we don't have to. But we're, we're getting really down to the wire. Alyssa only has one hit point left. The only thing we have to do is kill this artifact, and it already has two damage done to it. It has three damage left. But I don't think... Arjun can finish it off in this turn. Um, so he has Precise Strike, which we're definitely going to use this turn. Um, so he, if okay, so here's what we're going to do. He's going to use Precise Strike. That's a plus eleven. So he he only has to roll a four or higher. If he misses, we don't even turn it over. So if let's let's see what the, let's see what this does. Because right now we just want to lay into this thing with everything we've got. So plus 11, so we just need a reasonable roll. 18, perfect, okay. So that's gonna hit, it's gonna do two more damage to the artifact. So basically all we have to do is survive this next encounter and we win. So that takes two more damage. Oh, we have Dragon's Breath. Did I use this? I used this last turn, though. Um, I think I just forgot to flip it over, but I, yeah, I remember using it last turn. Yeah, I just wish I had one more thing that didn't count as an attack. But I don't have anything, so... Arjun did not use a token. He's not going to move, but he did attack. He's not going to get treasure because he didn't kill anything. He's not going to move... Um, we're not exploring at this point, so we have a forced encounter. Please, God, don't be like everybody takes one damage. Secret door. Draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack and place it adjacent to the unexplored edge that is closest to the active hero. Place a new monster on that tile, but do not draw an encounter. Okay, we have to play it. So that goes here. Draw from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack. Do not play an encounter. So even if it's black, we don't have an encounter. At least that's good. And the closest unexplored edge is either here or here. It doesn't matter. We'll just go here. Place a monster on this tile. Um, I would love for this to be a gargoyle. No. Because if it was a gargoyle, it would sit there and do nothing. Skeleton. I think we can win. Because Alyssa can ping it for one on her turn. I think we can win. I'm getting excited. So Arjun. Um, so we now have a skeleton. So during his uh, villain phase, we play the encounter. Now the skeleton will activate. If the skeleton is adjacent, it's not. If the skeleton is within one tile, it's not. Otherwise, the skeleton is one tile, so it goes bone pile to bone pile. All right, I think we just won. I think we just won. So that ends Arjun's turn. Now Alyssa gets to go. And Alyssa... Sweet, lovely Alyssa can just ping the artifact and kill it. Just ping, and it's gone. So Alyssa doesn't need a token. She attacks, kills the artifact. Technically, the artifact counts as a monster, so she would draw a treasure, but it wouldn't matter because the artifact is gone. And the victory is the heroes win the adventure by defeating Clack and destroying his artifact. So... <sighs> I never would have believed that that game would have been possible after turn number one and two. I'm definitely going to watch this entire replay to make sure I didn't mess anything up. Awesome.